We've got a big week of grass court tennis in preparation for Wimbledon, and we're going to the Berlin Open, which is a huge event on the WTA, possibly the biggest event if we look at who's playing. Uh, but we do have some withdrawals from this event, so let's go see who's not playing in this one. So only a couple of names with their massive names, starting with Paulini, of course, the French Open finalist. She's decided not to play. Pavlyuchenko has also pulled out, and Iga Sviantek has also pulled out of this one and said that she's not playing any more grass court events except for Wimbledon. So no preparations for the third slam of the year for Iga. Of course, with the Olympics coming up, that's probably more of a focus, but man, Pellini also not there. Huge names, not going to play. All right, let's go to the top of the draw because we do have eight seeds in this one. Top four seeds get a buy in the first round, starting with Goff. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Hadaj Meyer or Alexandrova. That's a huge first round matchup and both very capable on grass, so a tough start for Goff. Then we got Noskova taking on Kerber. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier, the number eight seed, Jabur, in the second round. So again, massive names there in that section. A very good grass court players in that section. Number four seed, Pagula. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Vekic or Niemeyer in the second round. Then you've got a qualified taking on Navarro. Winner of that will take on either Osaka or the number six seed, Zhang. Massive first round match there again, of course. They did play a couple of months ago on the clay, so it'll be really fun to see them on grass. Obviously, you got to watch out for Goff. you got to watch out for Gula, the two big seeds. Jabur, of course. Got to watch out for her being a finalist of Wimbledon in the last couple of years. I'd definitely be watching out for Osaka as well. Showed some form on the clay and also played really well last week on the grass, so I'm really interested to see how that goes there. And I'll also be watching out for Kerber, of course, a former Wimbledon champion. Definitely dangerous, but there's so many players in this section. That could be really, really awkward. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number seven seed, Zachary. She'll take on Azarenka in the first round. Crazy first round. Winner of that will take on either Garcia or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Samsonova. Winner of that will take on the number three seed, Rabakina, who gets a buy in the first round. Then you've got the Wimbledon champion and fifth seed, Von Drusseva, gets a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that will take on another qualifier, Callan Sky, in the second round. Then you've got Kostruk taking on Kazakina. Winner of that will take on the number two, Sabalenka, in the second round. Again, some crazy matchups because it is such a stacked tournament. Of course, you gotta watch out for Sabalenka, you gotta watch out for Rabakina, massive names, favorites for Wimbledon, of course. Also, watch out for Von Drusseva. Interested to see how she backs up her Wimbledon title, but also be watching out for Samson over. She is very dangerous on grass and could really do some damage, and especially against Rabakina, she's got a really good record. So, very, very awkward draw for some of these players. All right, so there it is, a stacked Berlin draw, even with Ash Fiontek. Crazy matchups, especially in the first and second rounds. Really dangerous draw as well for those top seeds. Who do you think is going to win this one? This tournament usually doesn't give off the obvious picks, so the number one and two seeds do struggle sometimes here, so I wouldn't, I mean, maybe Rabakina does win this thing, or, or Sabalenka, but usually it's not those players that win this, so pay, maybe someone outside the box, maybe Vondi does get this title, which would be a bit unexpected, considering her form since Wimbledon hasn't been great, Jabir's won this title before, maybe you can go with her again, as somebody to take this title out, or maybe an unseated player, there could be some really dangerous unseated players that could do well here, but there it is, there's the draw for Berlin, let me know down the coast below who you think's gonna win it, starts on Monday.